hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is actually from megan kelly it said megan's maku megan maku's absurd new show about friendship with megan kelly and morgan pierce pierce morgan let's check out the video guys speaking of martyrs and people who have been really unfairly put upon let me ask you about megan markle <laughs> <laughs> One of the great Gosh, of all time. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> Her castle was so small. Um, she is apparently getting back into the podcast lane thanks to this far left pro women lemonada company. Richard Eden over in the Daily Mail, uh, your old hot, uh, has a piece today uh, saying uh, they're struggling to get this thing out of the starting block. Guys, guys, I don't know about you, but I feel I just feel like the Luminate company is trying to even use use Megan Marco to you know as a leverage to be known because up up to, up up to the moment they signed that contract nobody knew about lemonade I didn't know about lemonade I'm sure that many people out there also right. did not know about lemonade up until the Marco incident started uh, they signed but even up to now I've not seen anything I've not seen any episode have you guys listened to any episode of the uh, of the of the podcast I'm yet to hear anyone I don't know if you've if you've seen or heard from the lemonade. I don't even know what guys. Let's just continue. Box. No podcasts are even expected anytime this year, and not until 2025. And um, the really? podcast, by oh. the way, is going to celebrate oh. the joys of cooking, or at least something she's doing. <laughs> um, her Netflix show, I guess, really? is going to celebrate the joys of cooking, gardening, entertaining, and friendship. Piers, she's going to be teaching really? us how to be a good friend. I, I can't yeah. wait to find out from Meghan Markle what that's like. Well, mm. well, it's one of the many oh friends that she cut off <laughs> spectacularly <laughs> the moment she got a, a bit of royal action, uh, along with her entire family, of course, on both sides, apart from her mother. I don't think Meghan Markle's in any position to be lecturing anybody about friendship. Uh, I mean, it always made me laugh at the Archerwell website, their charitable foundation, uh, says it's dedicated mm. to compassion. I mean, it's, it's hard to imagine two people who've been less compassionate in the last few years to the ones around the, the, their loved ones than these two, right? This mm. is two people who trashed all their family, you know, whether it was her father or whether it's Harry's mm. entire family mm. at a time when Prince Philip mm. and the Queen were both dying. Um, it, there they mm. were on mm. national mm. television, from Oprah Winfrey to Netflix to whatever, whoever, you know, as the Spotify yeah. guy put it, whatever grift they can get paid for, up they were trashing their families. Yes. So the idea now that they're reduced, or that certainly Meghan Markle is now reduced from somebody who, you know, remember Meghan, she had a she had a, a fairy tale royal wedding that was seen around the world. Yeah, you know, the carriages yes. drawn down to Windsor Castle and so on. It was an amazing event. Everyone in this country. I'm in the UK at the moment. Wow. Everyone loved that marriage when it happened. There was universal support for it, euphoria. It was only- Do you get, do you get, like, I was one of the people that was so happy because I started seeing Meghan Markle from the suit. That was where I started seeing her, in as much as from the onset when I saw her. I didn't really like her character. I just perceived her like she was being so fickle, trying so hard, you know, to, you know, to appeal to people. I don't like when people do that. They're trying to suck up, do so hard. Do you get? Yeah, that was where I saw her from. Me, I was just so happy that oh, this girl from nowhere will become a princess, marry into the royal family. Like, how did she do it? You know, and all that. Only for her to now come up, come on, and not be doing something as we're not expecting. Like, mom, you are doing so much. Turn it down. Somebody here said that she didn't cut off her mother because she needs to wave the black card because she cannot pass without her. Mm. Who would have thought that Megan was a black woman? In which century would you have thought that Meghan Markle was black or has a percentage of black? And now we are also hearing or saying that she's claiming to be 43% Nigerian. How is that possible, guys? The other time she was Maltese. Now she's Nigerian. Maybe the next one she'll be Ghanaian. So I don't know. Well, let's continue. Only their behavior in the first year of their marriage when they began to behave rankly hypocritically, you know, lecturing about poverty whilst having half a million dollar baby showers, you know, to lecturing us about the need to watch our carbon footprint and using Elton John and George Clooney's private jets like taxi cabs. Um, and it was the constant hypocrisy mm. that they got picked up on by the media. And then they couldn't handle the criticism from the media. And then it all turned hostile. Then they started suing everybody. And the whole thing got so toxic, eventually they just say, 
we've had enough of this. We're not going to do any more dreary duties on a wet Wednesday, which is what you have to do to, you know, to mm. earn your royal titles in the estimation of the public. And they decamped off to Montecito, mm. bought themselves a massive mansion. And they were supposed to be doing it, Megan, if you remember, you know, this was going to be their liberation their freedom, and it was supposed to make them happy. I've never seen two more miserable people who never stop whining and suing right. absolutely everybody yes. in the pretense that this is because they found their liberation and freedom. If you're so damn happy and free and liberated, well, shut up, stop whining and complaining about everything. But they're obviously not happy. And it's obviously been diminishing returns where when you trash your family again and again and again, eventually there's not much left to say. And people don't really want to hear it. It's like yeah. the Spotify guy said, they're just Definitely. a pair of grifters who just want to trash their family for loads of money and not put a shift in to do proper work. You and I know how hard it is to do mm. this kind of thing properly. You know, it's a lot of work with a yeah. dedicated team and you put the hours in and you've got to be creative and high energy and really put, put graft in. These two wanted to do massive deals with companies and then not do any work. Nobody wants to see her next podcast. Nobody listened mm. to the first one. And that's for this thing she's now doing with the ridiculously long name that no one can remember, where she's going to try <laughs> Riviera, and read the, the American, new Marvel, Whatever. I have to write it down. Yeah. American well, Riviera Orchard. Yeah. <laughs> see footnote 47 for the remainder of the name. Right. And she's now got all her celebrity, you know, sort of B-list, C-list mates putting out Instagram <laughs> posts about her, her jam. And it's like, oh, how the mighty fall. This was a this was a woman who had it all in this country, who literally had it all, and mm. is now flogging jam yeah. from from her kitchen in Montecito, <laughs> while her husband runs around fuming about absolutely everything and everyone because he knows in his gut he knows what he's lost. Let's be honest, guys. I'm sure, like I'm very very sure that people would rather want to see David Beckham in the kitchen because we know by now that he loves to cook. And we've seen his handwork in the kitchen. Even his first son loves to cook. Why? Because he has, you know, he, he has been inspired by the father. I'm sure that many of us would rather watch David Beckham in the kitchen than watch Meghan Markle in the kitchen. Like, what does she want to teach you how to do in the kitchen? Somebody here, somebody here even commented, how do you cover friendship when you have no friends? Like, <laughs> like does it even make sense? Or maybe she just want to talk about the foes of friendship. How friends have, you know, left her and all that. Maybe that's what she, the angle they're trying to come from. I don't know. It could be. And eventually, those chickens will come home to roost. Mm. And then she will be touting their eggs on her stupid website Ooh. where she's wearing evening gowns while walking around her <laughs> mansion that we're supposed to feel sorry for her because she's in. I love it. But the, on the Ooh, grifter yeah. subject, one of the funniest things, that was Bill Simmons uh, who said that at Spotify, I've never, mm. never seen such a pair of grifters. They wouldn't do any work. She got paid all this money. She barely mm. did anything. Him too. Yeah. And now she signs mm. this pod deal with this lemonada. We're not getting a podcast for years. And then she decides to sign this deal with Netflix. She's done nothing other than now this show she's going to do on cooking and friendship. Finally, okay, we'll believe it when we see it. And then finally, mm. she's got her little Riviera thing going. We're so far, we've had one jar <laughs> A strawberry <laughs> jam. <laughs> I know. So lazy. It's, it's, the whole thing. It, it's, it's, it's sort of lazy and, and, and a bit pathetic. You know, this is somebody who demands that we use the title Duchess of Sussex. I come from Sussex, which is a county in the south of England. I've spent more time in Sussex in the last month than Meghan Markle has spent in her entire life. She has <laughs> she's no your, actual she's right. She's your ruler, Piers. I didn't know that she's your... She, she, she ain't my ruler, Megan Kelly. Um, she's a, she is somebody yes, who, listen, said. as I've said to you, I think, many times before, <laughs> if they actually want to do this kind of thing and trade themselves around as sort of, you know, celebrities and do that sort of circus, then they can do it. But they can't do it with the royal titles. They yeah. shouldn't be using the royal titles of Duke and Duchess of Sussex, bestowed yeah. on them by the monarchy, an institution they constantly complain about and trash whenever they get the chance. Mm. Fine, if you want to go off and be celebrities in, in California, do it. But don't trade on the titles. Every time I see her demanding to be called Duchess of Sussex, I laugh. Nobody in Britain calls yeah. her that. Yeah. And Meghan Markle, you know, she got lucky, met her prince, dragged him out of the bosom of his family, dragged him away from the monarchy, which bestowed those titles on them, and has now ruthlessly with him exploited those titles for mm. massive personal gain. And I think it's disgusting and hypocritical. They shouldn't be allowed to do it. I hope that King Charles, who obviously is massively distracted by his illness, but I hope that King Charles at some stage just has that conversation and says, 
you can't keep the titles, I'm sorry, but you can't keep demeaning the, the status of being a member of the royal mm. family and attacking yeah. the family and the monarchy and retain your titles. Your you can just be Harry and Meghan. And see how you get on, by the way, when you're no longer mm. royals, because the answer yeah. is not very far. That's right. Who wants your jam mm-hmm. then? Did you yeah. know Fast Growing Trees is the biggest online nursery in the U.S. with more than 10,000 different kinds of plants and over 2 million happy customers? Well, now you can grow lemon, avocado, olive, or fig trees. They have house plants too. Fast Growing Trees makes it easy. Well, guys, I genuinely want to hear from you guys. Do you think that Meghan Marco has what it takes to you know, pull off the podcast talking about cooking, Let's say family, but I'm sure there's friendship there. Do you think she has what it takes to pull up that pod- a podcast like that? Knowing the fact that is it Archie or the other podcast they did, the, the the one they signed with Netflix, it didn't do well. And if if knowing the fact that that one didn't do well, do you think they'll be able to pull up this new one? Or they've, you know, maybe that trip around Nigeria have, you know, garnered a lot of knowledge for them that have more than enough content to come and share with everybody. Do you guys think they have what it takes to do that? And and what do you think about, you know, a bully coming to tell somebody about friendship? I don't know so much about Megan Merkel being a bully. I've not really, you know, looked so much into it. But what do you think about somebody that has been tagged a bully coming to talk to, to people about friendship? Do you think it will do so well? Well, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. Take care of yourself, guys. Bye.